new videos every day. Life, wisdom. Hey guys, this is Dr. Eccles again, and we've got uh, JP with us today, and he's a chiropractic newbie. He's never really been to the chiropractor before, and we're going to look him over today and uh, see if we can find some things that may help him. So JP, uh, have you been having any kind of problems at all? Yeah, I guess the lower back's been a little rough. Lower back? How long has that been going on? Uh, probably a couple months at least. Really? Yeah. Do you have any idea how it started? No. I, no. Just kind of came on all by itself? Yeah. Okay. So oftentimes, you know, if people, they don't, they didn't fall down the stairs, they weren't in a car wreck, they, they don't really know how the back pain started. It just kind of started. We call that an insidious onset. It just means we don't know. It just kind of started gradually. It could have happened from an old trauma that he had that, you know, we thought was healed up, but now it's starting to kind of creep back in and give us problems. Or it could be from postural problems, or it could be just about anything. So we'll do a few tests today to find out if we can isolate where the problem is. And then if we can, we'll go ahead and make an adjustment on there to see if we can get him back to good health. How's that sound? Awesome. Okay. So JP, we're going to find out a little bit about what's going on with you. Now, we're going to test several different muscles. and. If these muscles are weak, it, it kind of tells us about where the problem is. For instance, let's say that your, your refrigerator just stopped running, okay? Well, if you go out to the circuit panel box out in your house, there's a little switch and it says refrigerator on it. Well, it's not quite that simple with the human body, but these nerves do go to a specific place and we can kind of start looking there to find out where the problem is. So we're gonna check this rectus femoris muscle here. I'm gonna have you raise your leg for me up high and you're going to push against my hand real hard. Okay, so when we do that, that mu you can put it down, that muscle is real strong and it locks in place and that what, that's what we're looking for. If there was a problem with that nerve root, when I did that, when I pushed up, he would actually not be able to hold his leg up. And it doesn't matter how strong he is, it could be Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I'd be able to just push his, uh, push his leg straight down. Let's try this one right here, raise up, push up. There's a good example right there. Push up. See, he's really trying to hold that leg up, but he just can't do it. Could you feel the difference in that one? Let's show you again. Push up. Now, I could almost jump up and down on that leg. It won't move. It's locking in place. It's very strong. Put the, pull this one up. Push. Now, when I do that, I could almost use two fingers and just push his leg down. And you're aware of the difference there, right? So this tells us that there's a problem somewhere, and now we've kind of got to go in there and, f and find out what it is, okay? So I'm going to move back up to here. Now, oftentimes when we have a problem with this muscle, it indicates that his sacrum, which is part of the pelvis here, is, is out of its proper alignment. And when that happens, of course, we can develop lower back pain, etc. So push right here for me. Okay, so he's got his sacrum is rotated posteriorly or backwards on this side and it's causing this muscle to be weak. So we're going to go ahead and make an adjustment there. And I think what we're going to have you do is I'm going to have you roll onto your side facing me. Okay. okay. Okay, so we've got JP in the in the proper position here. His sacral bone here, his last vertebra is right here. His sacral bone is here and it goes all the way down and then it ends in the coccyx right here, the tailbone. This is what, when you fall on your butt and you break something, that's usually what it is, is that coccyx bone here. But this is, this part of the sacrum is actually rocked posteriorly or backwards. So we're gonna make a correction here. Just let that relax. There we go. Perfect. That felt pretty good, didn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Now lay back on your back. Good. So now we've put that bone in place. We're going to recheck it to see that if, if that's, to find out if that's what actually fixed his problem. Push here. Good. All right. Now I want you to raise this leg for me. Push up now. Very good. What do you think about that? Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> It's kind of like magic, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so we've gone ahead and adjusted his sacrum, put it back in place. Now his leg is just as strong as the other one. And he's pretty happy about that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, now this is the kind of problem that he, he didn't even know that he had this. But if he would have kept walking around on a sacrum that's tilted like this, do you think that might start to cause some problems in the future? Absolutely. Plus, since this leg is not even working properly, he's gonna to have to start recruiting other muscles to take the place that that one doesn't work. We call that adaptation. And that can lead to more problems. So even though his muscles, he's a strong fella, this muscle was neurologically switched off, similar to the refrigerator that we talked about. When the circuit breaker trips, then even though there's nothing wrong with the refrigerator, it's not gonna work. So we have to reestablish that neurological connection which we did with him. Now he's strong. So I hope that kind of helps to explain the relationship of this and why keeping the spine and the frame is so important to good health and to keep him free from injuries because if he's walking around with that muscle not working properly, you could maybe not lift your leg, hit the curb, start having problems, all of that kind of stuff. So it makes a lot more sense to just keep well, well tuned up. So I'm glad that worked out well for you. Okay. And, um, Please visit us on our website, jeffeckles.com. We look forward to meeting you in person. Thanks. Bye-bye.